So here I am, Renee Barabo, the shaman chef, out here at the Good Cheer Food Bank today, learning how to, I keep saying preserve, but it's ferment vegetables. And what a great way to do this with your summer vegetables. And I want to thank Bobby and Good Cheer for having us here over here to learn how to play today. Thanks. So here's Bobby Cressman teaching us today about how to brine vegetables so that they ferment and just it's a great way of using extra vegetables from the garden and it's delicious and thanks for being with the shaman chef today. So as far as this method's concerned we're taking salt to draw water out of the tissues of the vegetables and then it'll form its own brine and so the salt is inhibiting the growth of, of problematic microbes and it's also proliferating health, healthy and beneficial microbes. So a lot of those microbes also live in your digestive tract. And so it's, it's supplementing what already lives inside of your digestive tract with what you're eating. So we're gonna make, make our, our first layer here. And, and you put gloves on. We'll put some gloves on, and we get our salt, which is, which is right here. And, and so an important thing to, to note about salt is to not use iodized salt. Iodine prevents um, the microbes that we want to proliferate from proliferating. Just kind of give it a give it a little sprinkle, and then. Put in another little layer, another little layer, um, put another layer of salt. It's like making a lasagna. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and then another layer. And, you know, this is also dependent on, on how much space you have. Because um, uh, what's going to happen here is um, well so for, for like carrots or uh, softer fleshed vegetables that we you know put through the blender um, it'll get softer and so you can you can pack it in more now I, I, I use these things just because it's kind of a little a little more uh, neater and you can find these in any sort of canning box or whatever but eventually you're gonna have to get your hands in there anyways what's it called? These, uh, a, it's a, a wide gauge funnel, funnel yeah. Mm -hmm. And so now, this is the fun part. I mean, if you got arthritis, it's uh, slightly difficult. Just gotta squish it in there. And you see that? You see that brine coming up to the top there? Oh, yeah. Yep. So that's, that's what we want. But again, you, you see some of those air spaces, and uh, that's not ideal. But it um, it'll it should fill in within 24 hours. Um, so before before we seal our jars, or not seal, but close them, uh, we should we should clean the jar itself and clean the bands, especially because. Um, so salt has a corrosive ability to it, and the salt that accumulates around the rim will um, corrode your, your, your container lid. Cleaning off the jars and making sure the band and the, the top is on just, just tight enough, hand tight. You don't want to crank it down or anything, um, just so it'll, it'll keep in that pressure. Yeah, so, you know, in two, two days tomorrow, push it back down and then just check it, you know, just give it a look. And if, it, and if it's uh, under the brine, then it's all good. And if it's not, push it back down. And then I'll do this for about two weeks and then I'll put them in the fridge and yeah, give them away as gifts. Ten, yep, 10 to 14 days. Um, and again, you can kind of gauge how actively it's, it's fermenting by how, how rapidly it pushes that top back up. You know, and so at you know 12 days, if your jar hasn't hasn't off gassed anymore from the, the last time that you pushed it back down, the chances are it's slowed down, and you can you know, put it in your fridge. 